Hi everyone. Here we go. The question says the table of values shown, uh, sorry, shows the cost of movie tickets at a local theater. So here's our number of tickets. Here's our cost. Okay. Is this rela relation uh, linear or non-linear? Explain how you know. Okay. Let's take a. Let's bring this over here. Let's take a quick look. First of all, when we approach this, I, I need to define what are the independent and dependent variables before I can kind of make a, a kind of a clear understanding of what's going on here. And it should be pretty clear that cost depends on the number of tickets that you're getting here. So this is the independent. This is the dependent. Now, if I ask questions about domain and range or or whatever, uh, that's that's what I gotta how I gotta think that through here. This is gonna be related to the domain. This will be related to the range here. Is this relation linear or non-linear? Okay. Well, in a linear relationship. Okay, there's a proportional increase with every step. Sorry, I should say it like this. There's a proportional change in the dependent variable for every consistent change in the independent variable. Okay, and again, here's a place where I really need to know the, the difference between those two. So as I go down here, this is going to increase by one, increase by one, increase by one. Okay, here, this is increasing by 12, increasing by 12, so plus 12, plus 12, plus 12. Because there's a proportional increase here, this is a linear relationship. So yes, this is linear, okay? A constant increase in the independent variable, okay, produces a constant, I don't know if you can see that, a constant uh, proportional increase in the dependent variable. So had this started to increase by, by differing amounts here, so every increase of one and this produced a different amounts here, that would not have classified as, as linear. Now let's take a look. Assign a variable to represent each quantity in the relation. Which variable is dependent, which is independent? Okay, well, we've already talked about that. So let's just say we'll let n be the number of tickets. And we've already seen that this is going to be the independent variable. And then let's say c is going to be equal to the cost. And again, we've already established that this would be dependent. Okay, and now let's look at the next one. Is the data discrete or continuous? Explain how you know. Okay, well, there may be some differ, uh, disagreements between, between some of us here, but is data discrete or continuous? Now, as I understand discrete, discrete refers to, to um, data that has to come in prescribed amounts, okay? Uh, countable values here. Now, the number of tickets, you can't get half of a ticket, okay? Because you can't get half of a ticket, you basically just count the number of tickets you've got here. So the number of tickets is discrete. Now, there will be some disagreement or argument over whether money should be considered discrete or continuous. But in this case here, uh, this chart would never go up by any value other than 12. Okay? It's not going to go up by fractions of that amount. So I would argue that in both cases here, the data Okay, is discrete. Okay, because tickets Okay, because the tickets can only oh sorry, why well, maybe I should say it like this, can't be sold Okay, as fractional amounts. Okay. And thus, you pay um, whole or, you, well, you'll never pay fractions of the amount of the ticket. So you always pay for full tickets. You never pay for fractional amounts here. So graph the data. Okay, well, I, I've only given myself a little bit of room here for this. And that's simply because this is going to look like this. Um, 
this would be this would be the number of tickets here. This would be the cost. So this would be one twelve dot two twenty four dot three thirty six dot four forty eight dot. Okay, and I use dots here because of this is discrete data. Now, if there was if I was buying a whole bunch of these tickets here, I might be tempted to use a line just to show a trend, okay? And I would still have to understand this is discrete data, but I would throw a, a line there just to kind of simplify the graphing. Anyway, there you go.